it was a really, really challenging week. Um, we were tasked to uh, recreate Maker's BNB, um, but with Rails um, acting as an API serving JSON data for the Angular front end. I have not had the best week. My laptop hasn't really worked, it kept crashing, my internet's been really slow. The bits that I did manage to do were fine, <laughs> but a lot of the time I'd start something or I'd see or I'd watch the rest of my group start something then the computer would crash or the internet would stop working but that was my computer's problem really <laughs> so I tried to get around that but it was quite hard. And this week we did another project so like we'd done back in I think it was week six so we were given it was actually the same project so we were given the same specification um, but told we want this time to do it in Rails and with Angular. What was noticeable to me on reflection is the uh, the minimal amount of guidance that was provided. Whereas in previous weeks we'd had uh, tutorials or a challenge-based system to uh, to guide us. Um, this week we were pretty much left to our own devices, and uh, that involved a lot of problem solving, a lot of research, googling. So we sort of approached it a similar way at the start. So we sort of broke it down into user stories try to figure out how we'd want to approach it but we struggled quite a bit with getting it set up and getting it working and sorting out the tests. I did feel that I spent a lot of time researching and fixing things um, and I feel that my problem solving skills and uh, my competency with Angular especially uh, took a huge leap this week so I'm, I'm really thankful for that. We had a sort of brainstorming session <laughs> um, where we all sort of suggested ideas, we had 30 seconds to sort of pitch an idea to the rest of the group. Um, that was put into a big list of potential ideas which we then voted up on, so everyone put their top three and then from I guess the top ten of those we sort of put our preferences so that we could be sorted into groups. We came up with a good number of uh of different projects, some wacky ideas thrown in, some uh, quite good ideas, some totally unviable in, in the real world, uh, but we had fun doing that, so that was a good thing. There are quite a good few uh, projects which I'm interested in working on, uh, however, what matters to me the most at this stage is the, uh, the people who I'll be working with, so I'm really looking forward to the final projects. I like doing the back-end stuff, so I like the logic and the sort of solving problems thing. I kind of similar to what I did at university, so it's the maths sort of problem solving. But I am a big fan of the design, so I can spend absolutely hours of time just doing the CSS and the HTML and making it look the way I want it to look. So I really enjoy that as well. But it's probably not the area I'm best at. I'm not very it, I'm very slow at it, getting it to look exactly how I want to manage takes me a while to figure out what sort of words and commands it needs but that's definitely what I enjoy. I'm the kind of person that wants to understand both not just the back end but also the front end how they uh, integrate with each other and how they communicate so understanding a web application uh, as a whole is really important to me so um, I fall into the, uh, the full stack developer camp and uh, that's where I'm, I feel that I'm best and enjoy the most.